In this video, I will show you how to connect PS5 controller to PC. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see, I've got my controller and my PC is open. Now, I know you can see this is a Mac, but this Mac is currently running Windows. So to go ahead and connect your controller, there's two ways you can do this. The first way is to use the charging cable, which came with your console. So that's the USB-C type cable. And what you want to do is, of course, plug this into the top of your controller and then plug the other end into your PC and it should pick up your controller and you should be able to use it no problem. So if your PC actually has Bluetooth, you can also connect wirelessly using Bluetooth, which is actually really, really easy to do. To do this, what you're going to want to do on your PC, you want to come down to the bottom left hand corner and down here, just in the search box, you want to go ahead and type Bluetooth. Once you've done that, you should see underneath best match, Bluetooth and other devices settings. So click this to open up your Bluetooth settings. And what you want to do is make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. So if it's not, just come and click the switch here. Then what you can do is press the option above, which says add Bluetooth or other device. So what it's going to do is open up a window like this. And before you go ahead and do anything on here, what we're going to want to do is put our controller into pairing mode. So to go ahead and put your controller into pairing mode, what you're going to want to do is press the control center button, this one here, and the screenshot button. And you want to press and hold these at the same time, just for a couple of seconds. After a couple of seconds, what you will notice is that the blue lights are going to start flashing, which shows the controller is in pairing mode and ready to be connected. So now coming back to our PC, what we're going to do is select the top option here for Bluetooth. So you just want to go ahead and click onto this. Then what it's going to do is start scanning for any nearby devices. Make sure your controller is close to your PC so it does get picked up. And as you can see in the list, it says here DualSense Wireless Controller. So all you need to do is click onto this to connect it to your PC. So you can see it says connect in. And it's just going to take a minute or two to do this, but you can see that we're basically connected because if I come back to the controller, you can see that the lights have actually gone a solid blue color. And as you can see, we've got a confirmation saying your device is ready to go, DualSense Wireless Controller. You can see a little pop-up down there which says setting up a device. And as you can see, it says down here, device is ready, DualSense wireless controller is set up and ready to go. So we are good to go. So all we need to do now is come out of this. And you can see now in the Bluetooth screen, it says down here, DualSense wireless controller connected. You can see we're connected because as mentioned, the lights have gone a solid blue color. And now you can just use that to play compatible games that will support the PS5 DualSense controller. So that is how to go ahead and connect your PS5 controller to PC. With that being said, I hope this quick tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.